All right, it is 10.06 a.m. in the morning. It's Friday. I got to get ready to go to work. I'm going to dress, shower, and all that fucking good bullshit. But before I start, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Blackstone Labs. Dot com. Go check out their supplements. You get 20% off your entire order with B to the 4th power. That's 20% off your entire order with B to the 4th power. You have pre-workout, post-workout, fucking BCAAs, fucking with caffeine, nootropics. I love the nootropics. That's my favorite thing. That's what I like to use. I've also been using Viper, uh, um, the Viper X with Dust V2. That's the combination that I'm loving right now. I got a new set of Dust, uh, the Dust X, and so I'm gonna be trying that after I run out of the Dust V2. I always like to make sure that, you know, I try something out and I try it out completely to see how I like it for a whole bottle. And I'll be doing a review on that pretty soon. But that's 20% off B to the fourth power at blackstonelabs.com. Also like to thank johnandersonclothing.com for sponsoring, sponsoring this podcast. Look, see this hat? That's where I got this hat. Look, I've been buying this brand before they knew of me, talked about me or even thought about me or any of this fucking bullshit. I love what it stands for. I love what the company means. So you know what? You can get 10% off your entire order with F Excuses 1910. Look, that's F Excuses 1910 at johnandersonclothing.com. That's F Excuses 1910 for 10% off your entire order at johnandersonclothing.com. Go check them out. Both these sponsors take care of me. I want to take care of them. So make sure you go check them the fuck out. This is Angry Dad saying they're both approved. But let's get into today's podcast. Look, with my main truck, because I have two cars, I have a Tahoe and I have a Tacoma. Both cars, one's for the family, one's for truck commuting and all that extra fucking bullshit. But let's be honest. My truck got damn near two, almost 300,000 miles on it. My Tacoma got over 300,000 miles on it. And it's time to replace one of them. All right, the Tahoe's already fucking giving me problems, so you know what? I gotta get rid of it and get something else. The Tacoma, fortunately, was in an accident, but I was fortunate enough to be able to fix it. Now, here's the dilemma, all right? Here's my fucking issue. I love badass cars. Most of us, you know, love badass cars. We love muscle cars, lowrider cars, import cars, tuner cars, whatever the fuck it is, all right? I, I have a wide variety, a big taste for cars. I've always had a nice car. I've always had a badass car. I've always had those kind of cars. You're like, damn, that's a badass car. And with both these cars, look, one sensible, it's a family car. You know, I didn't do anything to it. I just put a new, you know, stereo deck in it just so it sounds good. And it's the first car I've owned that I've never tricked out or done anything to. Same thing with the Tacoma. And it just lets you know what you're at. I'm at a certain age where I'm just like, fuck, I got to be reasonable with these cars because I have a family. I have kids, and we got to get around. I can't have a two-seater. I can't have a four-fucking-seater. You know what I'm saying? I got, a, I got a big family. You know what I'm saying? I got four. Look, that's four kids, me, and Kristen. That's six. So right off top, I need a fucking big car or at least the ability to have five of us in one car. All right? Most badass cars are about four-seaters, and, you know, really fast cars are about two-seaters. And... It just puts you in the dilemma because you're like, what do I fucking do? What, you know, it's like, how do I fucking pick something? Which is fucking difficult as fuck because, you know, I want to be sensible, but I want what I want. But the thing is, is what I want is not sensible for what I need. So it just lets you know that you're fucking stuck and you're fucked. So as I'm going through this motion, I'm looking at cars, I'm looking at all kinds of cars, you know what I'm saying? I follow all kinds of fucking shit on Facebook, Instagram, all this stuff. And I see all the cars that I love. All right, and look, I'm a G-body guy. I love Monte Carlos, Regals, Grand Prix. I love those kind of cars. SS's, T-tops, the 80s, that's my style. That's my, that's my love. That's what I grew up with, all right? Whether it's a low rider or a fucking hot rod. It just is what it is, all right? But they're comfortable. It's a five-seater. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But at the same fucking time, you know, I want to have the ability to take all of us and then if extra... Take them with us too. But I don't want to fucking buy another SUV. I really like the SUV. The SUV is comfortable, but at the same fucking time, I just fucking, it's not my thing. I'm not a truck fucking person. Even though I would look like a truck fucking person, but I'm not a fucking truck fucking person. You know, even though I got two fucking trucks at the moment. But it's sensible, it does what it needs to do, and there's not much I can really do with it. It's just like, uh. But I start looking at all these fucking like Camaros. 
I'm looking at fucking like the Nissan Silvias. I'm looking at fucking like, you know, the uh, the Nissan 240X, uh, fucking Supras, Mitsubishis. Look, I'm looking at all these imports. I love these kind of cars. I'm way too big for these kind of cars, but I just love the ability that they have to tune them, adjust them, customize them, and all that fucking bullshit. Same thing with Camaros. You fucking can do so much with a fucking Camaro. All right. But at the same time, it's not sensible for what I fucking need because most of these cars are only fucking four seaters. I'm just like, fuck, what do I fucking get? What do I fucking do? And so that's the dilemma that I'm in. But it's just so hard to fucking choose because at the end of the fucking day, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get something I fucking need but not want. You know? So it, it, it just lets you know, like, fuck. When, when you grow up, they don't explain any of this shit for you because you could be a badass fucking dude and want a badass fucking car. But it's not what you need. Because you're a father, you're a husband, you're a provider, you are transportation for those around you that want to get places. And you're the one chauffeuring them around. Look, uh, I trust my lady driving, I drive, she drives, I feel comfortable in a car. I feel comfortable enough to fall asleep with her driving. So let's just let you know that she's a capable driver. But at the same time, I do like to drive. I do like to drive everywhere we can and I love the ability to take us all where we need to go. But it's like, fuck, do you just buy what you want, get what you want, or just fucking bite the fucking bullet and get what you need? That's just where I'm at right now. It's like, fuck, I hate being old. I hate feeling this kind of fucking way. I wish I could just turn around and just literally get what I fucking want and not give a fuck. But at the same fucking time, I got to take everything into consideration. I got to take all this stuff. And let me tell you something right now. I ain't got to fucking commute. So right off top, whatever car I get is the one I'm going to be driving fucking daily. Because I ain't fucking trying to drive. Look, my Tacoma's great. It's great on gas, all that fucking bullshit. But at the same time, it's a tiny fucking truck. I'm six fucking five. Damn near fucking 300 pounds. And I don't want to fucking be stuck in a confined space for whatever amount of fucking time it takes to get to work and work. But at the same fucking time, it is what it fucking is. At the moment, it's my main source of transportation and it's what I'm fucking driving. But it's like, God fucking damn, I want to fucking drive something fast, nasty, and fucking clean. You know? But it is what it is. You know? I'm like, like I said, sometimes when you get in these dilemmas, you're just like, what do I fucking do? But, you know, a lot of times, too, I leave it to chance. Because if something pops up... I find it, I get it, it's a great fucking deal. Guess what, I'm not gonna fucking turn out a great fucking deal. Something I've learned growing up is don't look a gift horse in the mouth, you fucking just get it. You look for, you look at it, you're like, all right, I'm gonna fucking take it. Thank you, I appreciate it, all that fucking bullshit. But you know, that's just what I'm going through at this moment. Like stuff that I'm just fucking thinking about, stuff that I've just fucking been pondering ever since the accident. And I'm like, fuck, I really need to get something around. I really need to fucking take care of this. But what do I fucking get? What do I fucking do? How do I fucking get it? But you know what? That's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm trying. You know, if you guys have ideas, you guys think you might know what kind of car or fucking what's sensible. You know what I'm saying? I've damn near looked at everything. I'm almost looking at fucking like an STR8. And I'm a Chevy guy. All right. But, you know, the, the STR8s are clean. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different fucking versions of them. You know, my son wants me to get a Hellcat, but shh. I ain't getting a fucking Hellcat. I gotta get something reasonable, right? I don't know. It's hard to fucking pick. It really is. But you know, when you got a large family, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But like I said, if it pops up, it pops up. I'll take it as it comes. So you know what? Sorry to ramble on just thinking about what I'm... To let you guys know what I'm thinking about, what the fuck I'm going through and all that fucking bullshit. But you know what? This is the angry motherfucking dad. Look, you want to watch this shit? IGTV, YouTube. You want to listen to shit? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, fucking all that fucking bullshit. SoundCloud, Podbean. You look, you can find this motherfucker everywhere. Also, too, I'm recommending Paranormal Pativity. He just put out his podcast for La Arona. He, look, I thought it was said La Arona, right? That's how it's fucking spelt with two fucking L's, but it ain't. So you got to make sure you go check it the fuck out. See how it's pronounced. See the lore. See what he found out. The information he put out about the fucking myth, the legend, all that fucking bullshit. So make sure you check it the fuck out because I fucking said. This is the angry motherfucking dad. Make sure you go check out all my fucking sponsors. All the links, information will be in the fucking bottom. Look, enjoy your motherfucking weekend. I'll see y'all guys on fucking Monday. And if Monday's a fucking holiday, too fucking bad because I don't work on the motherfucking holidays like the motherfucking government. All right? Y'all enjoy your motherfucking weekends. I'll see y'all motherfuckers later. Fuck. Always living, always living, always living, always living.